Well, Shabbat Shalom, little Hebrews, and Boker Tob. This Shabbat, we will have the first monthly lesson in our Hebrew Heritage History series. Today, we will explore and learn about our people escaping Yerushalayim up to the slave ships. Little Hebrews, we will begin by looking at Psalms 83, verses 3 and 4, which say, They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Yisrael may be no more in remembrance. Little Hebrews, this means that those that know who we are, but do not want others to know who we are, so they do sneaky things against our people and talk and plan against our people. Psalms 83 and 30 calls us Yah's hidden ones, because many people do not know that we are the Hebrews spoken of in the scriptures. The truth about who we are is being hidden from them, and even more, it's being hidden from many of us, little Hebrews. When Yah took away our heritage and scattered us into all the nations, he said that we would not know who we are. So, we can see Yah has used other nations to take who we are right out of our memories. So let's look at how this happened. As we know, our ancestors, well, some of our ancestors, did not obey the laws and commandments of Yah. And Yah placed the curses upon our people as he promised. He would do this in Deuteronomy 28. Little Hebrews, even though Yah said he would take from our memories who we are, Yah also left a sign up on us so that when he started awakening us, and we started turning back to him in these latter days, we would know that we are Hebrew. Little Hebrews, a long, long time ago, way back in 70 BCE. Now, BCE means before the common era. Yisrael was divided into two kingdoms. So we were split apart from each other, and ten tribes of our people were taken into the northern kingdom where the Assyrians were. Little Hebrews, these Assyrian people were so mean to the Hebrews, they would impale our people, which means they would hang the Hebrews on stakes to torture them. The Assyrian king, Shennacherib, would brag about how he tore down many of our towns and villages and how badly he treated our people. The Assyrian king brought with him men from Babylon and took them into the cities of Samaria, which is northern Israel, and placed these Babylonians there instead of the Hebrews. So he did a switcheroo. We can read this in 2 Kings 17 and 24. Now the tribes of Judah, Levi, and some parts of Benjamin stayed in our land and told everyone that they served Yah. But you know what? They really didn't show it. So 200 years later, Judah was punished by Babylon starting in the year 606. The Babylonians, along with the Africans and the Arabs, began to, listen to this word, extort, make our people pay them to protect us. <laughs> well, need I say, our people rebelled against the king of Babylon, and he attacked our people three different times. That king took strong Hebrews, like Danian, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and put them into slavery. So what did that leave in our land? Well, it left some of the weakest of our people in the land. What happened from there is there was a famine in the land, little Hebrews. There was not enough food, little Hebrews. Our people were starving, and they were so desperate for food that they even ate one another. 
Little Hebrews, Yah never lets something happen without warning his people first. See, Yah had sent the prophet Jeremiah to warn our people about Babylon coming against them, but our people didn't listen. So, they were punished again. Okay, let's move on. In 539 BCE, remember what BCE, mean, BCE means, Cyrus the Mede freed the Hebrews so they could return to Yerushalayim. He told them to take the temple treasures with them and to rebuild the temple. The sad thing is, most of our people had started to do and act like the Babylonians, and they did not want to even return to our land. So around 331 BCE, Alexander the Great was causing war on many nations, but he was not causing war against Yerushalayim. Here's what he did. He took the Greek culture, you know, how the Greeks act, into Yerushalayim, and, yep, you guessed it, our people started acting like the Greeks and even speaking their language. Well, 65 BCE rolled around, and Herod, who was not a Hebrew, was made king in Yerushalayim by the Romans. He did some terrible, terrible things, little Hebrews. He killed our baby boys that were two years old and under. In 66 AD, Hebrew Israelite zealots rebelled and fought against Rome, ruling over Yerushalayim. But Rome sent many more soldiers into, into Yerushalayim to take over. So many of our people ran away from Yerushalayim and down into Africa. They went there to hide. Scriptures say in Deuteronomy 25, 25, Yah shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shalt be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. Little Hebrews in 70 AD, more Roman soldiers were sent to Yerushalayim to completely take over and destroy the temple. And it happened at Passover. The Roman soldiers destroyed our land and our people. They tore down the temple brick by brick. The gold was taken and the temple was set on fire. The temple treasures were taken back to Rome and locked away. This was the beginning of when other nations started living and being in control of our land. The Arabs came in and ruled and then the Christians and Yerushalayim got weaker and weaker over the next 700 years. Well, the Ottoman Turks came in in 1517 and took over Yerushalayim and our people were fully under the curses. And the next people Yah would send up on the Hebrews would overpower our people, force them out of Africa and completely away from our land. These people would take away the heritage and the dignity of our people and have no mercy on our people. Little Hebrews, Yah warned our people in Deuteronomy 28 and 68, and Yah shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. The ships came, little Hebrews, just like Yah warned our people that they would. And they forced our people out of Africa and into those ships, exactly as Yah had warned. And that, little Hebrews, is the first lesson in our monthly Hebrew Heritage History series from Escaping Yerushalayim to the slave ships. And now we will ask you some questions. Shalom.